Hi, I'm Maddie Mortimer and this is my debut novel, Maps of Our Spectacular Bodies. It is a family drama at heart. It's a portrait of a woman's life as she nears death. This woman's name is Leah and the novel moves, moves between her past and her present and the landscape of her body. We are guided through this landscape by a gleeful, malevolent, shape-shifting narrator growing stronger by the day until it begins to take hold of the text itself. We are in Waterstones Piccadilly, which is one of my favourite bookshops, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about three novels or books that inspired uh, my novel. And we're in the classic section. The first uh, book that I'll be talking to you about is Emily Bronte's Wuthering Heights, which needs, I think, <laughs> not much of an introduction. I read this book when I was very young and was kind of mostly struck by how visceral and beautiful the language was. It's a kind of passionate and devastating love story about Heathcliff and Cathy and uh, it inspired a huge portion of the past narrative in my book. I was really taken by um, the gothic quality and wanted to sort of deconstruct and recreate some of that gothic atmosphere in my novel. So we're now in the poetry section, which is my favourite section of any bookshop. And I'm going to be talking a bit about Anne Carson, who is my favourite poet. I was introduced to her at university and read first her um, novel in verse called Autobiography of Red. And it's really a kind of contemporary retelling of the myth of Goyon and Heracles. And uh, Anne Carson sort of rewrites this story um, and transposes this myth into the life of this red boy called Guryon. It's sort of a queer coming of age story and her language is so synesthetic. It has this remarkably alive quality to it. And it was a real light bulb moment for me, um, kind of realizing that I wanted to write and kind of she really reveals what language can do on a page in a way that no one else can. So we're now in the fiction section and the next book that I am going to be picking is Grief is the Thing with Feathers by Max Porter. It's impossible to talk about my book without mentioning Grief is the Thing with Feathers. Um, when I first read it, I was blown away by how it could be so playful and so fun and so emotionally true without being sentimental. And it really kind of made me want to or feel that I could write a book, um, that a book didn't have to be one thing. It's about um, two boys and their father, who is a Ted Hughes scholar, um, losing the, their mother. And this crow turns up on the doorstep and heals and helps and haunts them, really. Uh, I cried so much <laughs> when finishing this book and didn't speak to anyone for like three days. And I urge anyone who hasn't um, got it to go and buy it immediately.